Hi everyone, good evening, good morning, good night. Welcome to this, uh, the last um, of this uh, week related to the mind, which is related to the ankles. Ankles? Ankle? Today I'm not good in English, <laughs> sorry. So I've been reading some comments that saying that uh, it was a kind of difficult to understand the chat between I and am um today in the blog. I don't know. I don't know exactly which part was more difficult, but I guess I kind of understand which part could be. So I will try to make a summary of that. So we're all on the same page. So related with the ankles and the feet is the information of our path, where we go, the destiny we choose, where are we heading to? So it implies the destiny where we are trying to go to. So what, um, what the chat was explaining was that we think that we start a point in an origin point and then we go into uh, another point like a destiny and we think that we are going in that direction and going far farther but the system is like jump it closed so it's like a pattern where where it says wherever you go you will come back constantly to the same place because it's all closed it's a circuit so this means that that it doesn't matter where you go, you are always coming back to the origin. It means that the goal is not to accomplish our purposes, but to understand the map, the system, where all my purposes can be accomplished. When, when I recognize that all this that I am taking, uh, they all come back to me, so I understand the whole map. Um, I have a problem today that the people that I have above, they are screaming a lot and, and playing a lot of music. They are loud and uh, I cannot concentrate. I don't know if you are listening to it mm, you can try to fix it. I'm glad if you are not listening to that because I do. So the the goal of, uh, that we have today is to recognize that the path always come back to me. Mm -hmm. We are going to read the information of today. So let's remember that we are still in the first month related to the constellation of Leo, which uh, it has the expression of the I am in um, express like I can. So, and we are still in the first week, which is related to the mind. Uh, the vibration of the day is mu, which is related with the sound M that, that means portal and the sound U that means uh, the, the depth. It means also those who are born, it means the, the essence of the things that goes into the deepest part of the self. So that's the vibration we are going to use today, mu. It's not mu, it's mu. So the statement of today is, I am the portal to the depth. So we are going into the depth of the world. The code of the day is exhalation, related to the process of integration. And it says, the universe recognizes them, recognizes them, that everything has a meaning and starts to give it. To understand the purpose of everything that was created and lived. Reaching the epiphany of the highest sense of reality, where it finds coherence in all things. It understands everything is part of the past and that everything that passed and that everything that passed is what shapes being. So this is related to what we were yesterday, which means to bring coherence and bring um, the idea, the concept of why, the meaning of why uh, everything that I have within happens, why I am like what I am. So this is the concept that we have as information for today. Now that I am more uh, more clear, I to say that the difficult part maybe to understand is the system, the map that we create in our path, that um, it is a tetrahedron. The shape of a tetrahedron, of course, is one triangle in the base, and then from each line is another triangle. So four triangles, three up, one below. So it creates four trinities. And these four trinities, for sure, three, um, three times four is 12. Okay. So we are 12 beings in different perspectives. So the, the tetrahedron, six lines, six edges in the geometry. So these edges means the path, the path that the self must take in order to integrate these parts. So it will have to walk 12 to the outside, 12 to the inside, coming out and coming back. 
origin. So it is like 24, 24 aspects. Uh, so all of these aspects of the self, of the being, must be integrated. And uh, for example, related to the to the soji, it's like if you go into into one of the points of the dots, and you have to experience every one of the spots and perspectives from your vision, and then you have to go to another one, and you integrate all the rest from your new. So that takes approximately 144 lives on Earth to do so. You can do it in more, or you can do it in less lives, but it's more job, of course. No rush. <laughs> Today we can go deeper into this issue. Okay, but now we are going to the alignment. What we are going to do today is to connect with all the path of the earth, every path of earth in our feet. So we are going to the most depth of the world. One of the things that we have to be aware of this term is that culturally is the one that we used to relate with the hell, because it's the one that relates ourselves with the core, the fire core of earth. So one of the things that we have to do first is to clean our mind in the idea that the negative, the hell, and all the bad things are below in the underground. So we have to acknowledge that the sphere that earth is, the core is the, is the center that connects every one of our path. So our feet is the closest spot and chakra related to the core of the of the earth hmm? so this is one of the ways in which uh, religion culture, um, used to separate us from the earth and the core making us believe that below our feet it was the hell we are going to connect with the core of the world and every one of the path that take towards the center so as always we are going to Sit comfortable, set in music, or to be seated, seated like this, uh, with our heads up, no laying down. So let's remember to um, to all of us, uh, to, to be uh, clear with uh, for all the new people, that what we are doing is just to look for the coherence of each part of our body, of our self, nothing else. The reason why we should not be, be laying down is because we are not channeling the telluric information, we are channeling the eye toward the core of the world. So don't think much now, just let it flow and start to make a massage to your body, discharge all the energy. And I start to relax the joints the arms, the legs. I relax the body and focus on my breathing. more. 
Remember always to breathe in by the nose and breathe out by the nose. Like if I am smell the perfume. Pay attention to the part of my body that calls my attention. The part that feels more uncomfortable. I bring all my attention to this part of my body. Take a deep breath, acknowledging this part of my body. Take a deep breath and bring your attention the hottest part of your body. Recognize that there where you feel the most hot is where all your emotions are stuck in. Now, allow yourself without thinking and without judgment. Still, the first question that comes to your mind right now from that hottest part of your body. I breathe in very deep, recognizing this emotion. Now, I allow myself to receive all the thinkings and catch one of them without thinking, without expectations. No judgments. I just take one, even if it's silly. I take a deep breath. I acknowledge this idea. With my hands or my imagination, I take this three, the part of my body, the emotion, the thought, the idea, as if they are tiny gears of light. I take it with my hands or imagination. And 
and I bowed the three of them towards my feet. Without too much, I just allowed to perceive the idea of why these three, the connection. I do that as I recognize that these are the three tools that my higher self chose for me today to nourish the seeds of my ankles. Take a deep breath and inhale the sense, the meaning of these three together. Even if I don't get it, I just smell and breathe in that meaning. or imagination, I take these spheres in between the angles. I recognize these are the three tools that will help me today to nourish the seed that connects me to the core of the planet, to the depth of the I am. I become aware of the light of the I am above my head. And with very deep breathing, I start to descend in the light of my body. Take a deep breath and start to download that light through the crown, the third eye, the throat. The heart, plexus, sacrum, root, knees, and softly going down into my feet. I observe the light of the eye being absorbed by the seed, dissolving the three spheres that starts to nourish the seed of my feet. I start to activate the vibration of the seed. I keep pronouncing the sound as I download the power of the I am. I can. I can. I can. I can go through the depth towards the core of the planet. I can face every path of the earth. I can go to the most deeper part of myself. So I recognize myself ready to open the portals, the doors towards the depth.
I am the portal to the dead. I am the portal to the dead. I am the portal to the dead. So I see and feel how the seed is blossoming in color magenta. So I can see the core, the heart of earth. I feel how I go through the crust, the magma, the iron sphere towards the first atom. To the core. I take a deep breath. I recognize that every path of the earth is at the same distance to the center. The only destiny, purpose, is the core. So from the core of the world, I see how the network starts to wave all these flowers, these magenta flowers blossoming all around the world. I observe how every path goes towards me. towards the deepest part of myself. I am the portal to the depths of myself. I am the portal to the depths of myself. Take a deep breath. Feel sorry. Once more. Exhale, heart. I discharge the energy from the feet towards the ground. I recognize within me, in my body, how every door, every pole, the mind of the I am is opened within. How to come back here and now. Okay. So, everybody good? Thank you everybody for being here, for being part of just one organism. As always, just rest. Hmm? Tomorrow is the toroid, Taurus, so we are going to close the week of the mind. So tomorrow, um, uh, for those who need it, uh, I propose that we meet one hour before. So uh, whoever has some questions that maybe they are useful for everybody, uh, we can maybe solve that um, and make and bring clarity. See? So see you tomorrow at 7, 20, and 30 Egypt time. Okay, thank you for being there and see you tomorrow. Bye.